All right. So here we are. So basically, magic files, what are magic files? What are they used for? Magic file, um, just like we said yesterday, magic files are actually is um, some kind of file that are used to detect type of um, a particular file based on their contents. Okay. For example, we know that there is this um, file command in Linux, which we can use on files to actually determine files, okay? Okay, to know if this is a text file, to know if this is uh, a born again file, that is shell bash file, to know or to know if it is an image file or that or this, you understand? So with the file utility, um, the file command, normal file command in Linux, You can see in now the manner of the file command it is used to determine the file type now the magic file tool is actually used to determine file types but instead of relying on extension of a file that is to tell me that this file is an executable file or this file is an image file or a pdf file just by the extension magic file actually determine type of file by their content Okay, so that is what magic file is. So looking at this, this is a file used by the file utility program in Unix to identify a file type by examining, examining its contents rather than relying on its file extension. So magic file I, I use in conjunction with the file utility program or the file command in Linux to determine type of file so that to identify a particular file type based on its content instead of what instead of its extension and you know we have different file extension we have dot zip we have dot exe we have dot jpg we have dot png we have as many as you can talk about we have dot pdf you know literally speaking looking at this file probably whatever the file name is file one or whatever you can call it looking at um at these files by their ex tend to literally say or determine or identify what kind of file this is but magic file does not rely on extension file extension to, to determine what type of file a particular file is instead it works on what content so magic file determine file or identify files based on what content okay so now the question now is how do we create magic file and uh how do we use it so there is a general structure okay of how the magic file looks like and how to create it so now look at what they say here. It's structure of a magic file. Magic file contain plain text content that typically follows a specific format, which are defined as rules on each line. Okay. And then the second line always talks about the MIME type. Okay. The MIME type of the file. Now uh, there's what we call MIME type, which is a short form for, where is that article? When we try to look at what are MIME type, it's a short form for what we call multipurpose internet mail extension. Okay. So it, they said it is a media type, which indicates the nature and format of a document file or assortment bytes. Um, bytes. Okay, so they are basically used to identify the nature and format of the document file. Or so looking at this in a in a lemma language, they are just used to to identify to tell us if it is a plain text 
you understand if if if, if this document contains plain text ascii text born against um, um scripts you know whatever so that is basically what mime type is by this in a, in explanation here so what we need to focus on as far as magic file is concerned is trying to understand the structure of a magic file and how to create it based on the structure remember magic file is identified files based on extent um contents not extension it does not rely on, on, on extension instead it what it, it it tells you that this file is this based on its content so now it's basic structure of the magic file this is it here having the first line and then the second line now on the first line you could see there are different what different um text all each of them having different meaning so for the first one we have offsets now what is offsets offsets specify where in the file where it should begin its search or where it should start looking for a particular file pattern we are looking for now as i said the other time magic file you have to identify file based on its contents instead of relying on what instead of relying on extension so if you look at this a good um case use case of a, of magic files is that probably you are looking for a particular file let's assume you are looking for um you are looking for a file that contains the word um a file that contains the word execute inside probably a plain text you understand or maybe a script as long as the keyword here i execute is inside that file a very good use case is to use a magic file which what helps to it helps you to find or identify that type and um, that file by trying to what do a thorough search on what the contents of the file so it's what it will scan through the content of that file and try to what look for this keyword execute and once it sees it what it will return to you that this file contains the keyword that you are looking for so basically magic files can be what that can be specific to what trying to look for a particular keyword or set of contents inside a file so we can run magic file through list of different files and it will give us description of every content inside the file trying to what search for the keyword that we have specified so that is why we now said looking at the structure of the magic file we have two lines where we have the um, the first line of the the first word on the first line which is what offsets and it specify where inside the file where it should start looking for the keyword or the pattern that you are looking for so if we can take a quick recap on um on the shell on the shell project that brought about the magic file of the thing that is the very last um, excuse me the very last stacks okay if we pay attention to the instruction here we are to create a magic file and the eventual name of the magic file will be school.mgc okay now now said this magic file should be used with the command file and the purpose of this magic file is to detect school data file now a typical um, understanding of this is that the keyword that what this magic file school.mgc is going to search for or the pattern is going to try to look for in every of the file it searches or it is being compared with is this keyword school that is a basic understanding here so it is trying to detect school data files that is every file that contains school inside of it okay so now 
He said, he now said, school data files always contain the string school at offset zero. So this is clear and explicit that telling you that the school data files that we are looking for, they cannot, they're not even on the tenth line of of every of the file that we are going to search they will be at the beginning offset zero means at the beginning of the file in the contents at the beginning of the content okay of that file that is where you see the string school now for every file that that are that are classified as school data files don't i'm breaking it down for every file that is that um we are going to run the magic command or the magic file upon in order to de detect every school data files. They must have the string, this S-C-H-O-O, -O, capital letter, or, or uppercase or true. They must have this string school at what? At the beginning. That is offset zero at the beginning. If we come back to this place, offset means it is this field we specify where exactly should we start looking for the file or the pattern okay now you said it can be it can be an absolute value for example it can be zero that is meaning from the beginning of the file just like i said or it can be 10 that is it has to skip 10 lines from top until the line 10 line for example if i open a file in 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 my let me sorry let me just open this file called c i have a file here with the name c you can see so if i open with my vi if i say vic now this very line that i'm here uh, i am here i want you guys to i want us everyone to, everyone to focus on this part and then focus on this part if i start navigating through this vi file where this um where this highlight is is on line one according to what we can see here. if i come down we have entered line two if i come down we have entered line three and if i keep coming down line four line five line six you can see where my cursor is you can see how it is increasing so that is what we call offset that is when the offset is at zero we are at the beginning of the line when it's at offset two we are at the, at the second line offset three and so on and so forth Okay, now moving forward, we now have the other one type. Now, type specify how the data at the offset should be interpreted. That is, what kind of file are we looking for? What um, what kind of file? I mean, content are we looking for? Is it a string content, or an integer content, or a byte? You understand? So, still referring to this, you can see that. It says school data files always they are always was string content and that is what the type of the file still explaining the structure of magic file so we have the offset where should they begin a search and then we have the type that is what kind of content are you looking for is it a string content or a number you understand so now the next thing is now what are you testing for what are you trying to detect so now this field describe the precise pattern, the precise string, the precise symbol or whatever you are looking for, you are trying to test at that very offset, at that line. You understand? Don't forget, we have different offsets which we can specify that then for the magic files to begin its search. So now, test now this test now is now where what we is now where we put our school because that is what we are looking for let me particularize this with the, let's say i want to solve the, the tax um, let me exit this one let me create a file let me just create with vi vi can create file automatically we don't need to even do touch so if i vi school as the name of the file now i am on line z i am on line zero offset zero okay so now what am i the offset i'm specifying offset zero that is begin to search at offset zero 
what are you trying to search for look for a string for me okay and now after you're looking for it okay we are looking for a string now what exactly what pattern what exactly am i trying to search for what am i trying to look for that is school this school with capital letter do you understand so we have the offset zero start at the at the beginning of the line then look for string and test for school okay now when you now see school you can now tell me you can say we can just put description description is user based description is user based it's based on okay when it sees what we are looking for what description should it was output so we can now say since we are looking for school data file we can say school data files so or school data file so this is what this man will what will output recapping the offset where she start from what are you looking for the type and then what exactly are you testing for and then the description now moving forward to the second line this is where we now have we can see description and an explanation of the file type in human readable form okay we don't want to waste time then the next one he said mind the mind symbol the directive to specify the mind type of the file so obviously as i don't forget when i came here i talked about the forming of the mind he said the the real work of this mind whatever he said it indicates the nature and the format of a document so we can what this syntax will is is a default syntax that must be there and then when eventually a particular file has been um the magic file has been operated on a particular file and it's found the school string okay the next thing is now what is now to specify is it a file or is it a text or is it um an image this can be user defined you understand and then we we'll now what we can now specify let's say this now we are because of course we'll run this on on text so we can say text and the mime type is school data so this is what what this is what will what will be output out which will be given when we run the magic file now what is needed is to understand the structure and of how to create magic file two lines the first line contains the offset the type and the string we are testing for with the description when to do the description that will be what that will be outputted when we run the magic file the second line will be will be will be outputted also when we what we add the mime flag in to do to the magic file when we are what using it all of this works we understand it um very well when we when we practicalize it when we run the magic file so this is just how it works so the mime is used as a directive to specify the mime type of this file now we've have this man the magic file is ready and created already so we can save if i cut school this is what we have okay so now moving forward let me put the cut school there so this is what we have now let us create two files that i want to test the first file will contain the school string and the other one will contain will not contain the school string so we can say cats the first file let's call it by one and i can just put it contains school then the second one i can say cats file two and it contains run 
I can say ju just some random text and I can what see now. We have the file file one, file two containing different text. One contain the school file that we are trying to search for, and the other one contain just random text. Now the next thing we can now do is now to run this magic file on it. Don't forget our magic file is cool, right? Now, if I follow up with this example, to, to run the magic file, let me, this is the command. We use the file command. Don't forget when we are trying to explain the magic file, that is, it is used alongside the file command in Unix. And then we specify the flag dash M to, to tell it that this is a magic file. Then the next thing is the magic file name itself. And then the file that we are trying to test. So let us test for every, let's test for every file that has the file name F-I-L-E, okay? So now, can you see? For file one, it said it returned that file one is a school data file. And then it returned file two that it is an ASCII text. Can you see? And why did it what return file one as school data file? Because if I cut file one, it contained the what? The string school at offset zero. Let us do something else. Let me create another file for file three. Now, let me put something at the offset zero, the beginning of the line. Let me put I um, a new file. Sorry, let me, let me. I am a new file. Now, at offset, in fact, I am a new file. You can. Okay, I am just a regular file. Now at offset zero, let's put, but I contain school. But I contain school. So let's just save this. At what offset does this school does it, it, this school appear? This is zero one two at offset two. Now let's run the magic file on all all the files that we have. Can you see now? C five three. It has represented it as what an ASCII text. Why? But it contained the school file, but it did not follow the rule that it must be at offset zero we are we are looking for every file that contains school at offset zero at the beginning of the line so if it does not begin at at if it does not begin at the beginning of the file then it is not what we are looking for it will be regarded as a normal file i believe this is now clear don't forget how do we use run the magic file we run the file command with the flag dash m and then school now we can still try to check the mime type we can try to check now if we want if we want this um line to be displayed to be given to us we can now use the mime type um, flag on it so we can do file uh, I've forgotten the flag. Um, that should be. You can run the mime type option on it. Okay. It will be file, then mime type. Okay. And then flag that is a magic file and school. Let's run it on all the files again. Can you see? This is saying that this is a text and it contains school. 
this is a text and it's just a plain file this is a text but it is school data file that's what this thing means this is just a text but it is a plain file you know plain text you can see even though that file 3 contains school at the offset 3 but the rule is at the beginning so now the next thing is now how can we because the compiler if we if we follow um this tax if we are to get our full mark we need to make sure that we have this school.mgc inside our repository or yes we must make sure that we have it inside so because this is what the checker will try to what look for also so at that point we need to now convert the magic file school we need to what we need to compile it so that it will have the extension school.mgc so how do we do that we can just easily do that using the file and then the capital c flag then indicator that it is a magic file on school okay so when we run this if we if i should list the files now we are going to see that the school.mgc has been created i believe this is clear enough as far as magic file is concerned so the school.mgc has been created through this command this flag here is to compile it in order to have this extension so that is all about magic file i believe justice 